So these are the chains I've made. And they ended up quite a similar length because, so this one will go from the 26 tooth. Sorry, I keep saying 20, I have said 21 before. So the, the 21 tooth, which is there. 26 tooth, look, I said it again. Right, 26 tooth, look. Okay, so the one that goes from the 26 tooth on the shaft to the 26 tooth on the motor hub is this one. And that was made before I received this very nice pack of five chain links, which always help. So this one, the missing link, so to speak, was smashed in by hammer. Probably see it somewhere there, that one. It's poking out a little bit, bit more one end than the other. So <clears throat> this one is the one I'm using first, the one with the chain link on. And uh, yeah, so these are very handy and I will replace when I go to use this one because you can't have two chains on at the same time. I'll put this uh, chain link on in place of that dodgy bit. So yeah, I'm just going to show you how I put the motor in. Got my little helper today, look. Little bubbles in the shed. So I've got the rectifier connected to it. The leftover cable is there. I didn't really want to hack the cable too short if I don't have to, so basically I've got to connect the cables from the rectifier. If you can see that hole there. Yeah, there, right in the corner. Stuff the cables down there. So yeah, I made a balls up with this smaller cog in the fact that I haven't drilled the hole perfectly central so what happens is half the way round it gets too tight and then it'll get a bit loose uh, so we're gonna have to go with a bigger cog which is harder to turn that one when you had that on the chain you could feel how much easier even doing this it was uh, but I'll just show you how I've not used any real uh, medical way if I've got the chain a bit floppy because that's the way it seems to to run best it soon tightens up so we shall have to see. Uh, the other thing was I had to, that pipe was actually the top 11 inches of my gin pole. So I've had to cut a new plate and weld that on so my gin poles a foot shorter than it was before, but that shouldn't be a problem. Sweet. So my tripod's uh, fallen to pieces, so won't be uh, filming me putting the top on and everything. I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do. We've got these two washers here that didn't get cleaned majestically, but these wash washers are actually perfect. So they're going to go on like that and sit there at the top of the tower. And the top of this washer that you can see will be flat up against the uh, big fish bosh in there. So, yeah, it looks pretty cool, actually, doesn't it? That's quite, quite meaty, like some kind of a futuristic machine gun. Look. <laughs> Yeah boy, let's go. Aye. Just going to show you my method of getting the uh, very awkward wire up the top of the pipe is push some wire through from the top and then I'll just tie that together and hopefully it'll come through okay. It can be very fiddly, so I'm not going to film it, but that's how I do it. And that's how those two things sit on there. I've got to get rid of some of this garbage. I might keep that metal bit on, but as long as those two are on there, Kishti, then that's half the job done. See it just there. Yeah, managed to get them through. So, cushy cushy. So, my friends, the day is upon us. Got a bit of wind. Nasty chemtrails, no shock there. But yeah, so I've just got to get some bolts for the hubs and then we'll get her up.
I'm a bit worried now the gin pole's too short. Because I had to hack a bit off it to put on the top of the power, uh, tower pipe. But we shall see. That takes a while getting the wires already. It's a bit of a pain in the ass to be honest with you. But anyway, I'll crack on with that. I'm going to have a cup of tea now. Right, I'll film this in real time in case there's any disasters. Let's go! for a tail of sorts on those two uh, posts that stick out the back if you want it to. Yes, my brothers and sisters, this is looking very good. Ooh, come on, baby. Holy crap. Yes, look at that. Sick. 